I'm going to start a new playlist where I will share with you to set up tags on your website with the help of Google Tag Manager for Google Analytics 4. Hope it will be very helpful for you. So let's subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button for getting updates so let's start this is an e-commerce website this website has neither google tag manager account nor google analytics 4. i'm going to show you the things from the very beginning so let's create a google tag manager account for this website open a new tab and search here google tag manager then click on the first website tagmanager.google.com and then create an account right here your account name i'm going to name it according to the website select your country you can check it or leave it at its i'm going to check it share data anonymously with google and others then container setup name your container i'm going to name it according to my website kanakata since i want this container to track my web events so i should select here web then click here create here check this option to accept data processing terms then click on yes here we go our google tag manager account and along with the container is ready to use now what we have to do is to install the google tag manager code on the head section of our website in this case as this website on the wordpress it has a very useful plugin to use google tag manager so i'm going to install the plugin for google tag manager now scroll down and go to plugin and click on add new search here gtm for wp here you go gtm for wp by thomas giger click on install now installed and click on activate our plugin is installed now go to settings and from there google tag manager now what we need to do is just to enter the container id here so we don't need to paste this code in the website's head section now i need to find here the container id here you go this is the container id so copy it and paste here and make this container code on and then click on save changes okay sometimes the container code became off so you have to check it once more after saving like in this case it became off make it on and again save changes here you go now it's on so go to google tag manager and close this tab now we have to check if our google tag manager is connected with our website so go to preview mode and enter here your website url and click on connect tag is stand connected that means our google tag manager is connected with our website you may notice here the preview mode has been opened in a new window but when we will install the google tag manager assistant extension on our chrome browser it will be open in a new tab not in a new window so don't worry about that i will install the extension right now so cut this window and click here continue open a new tab and search here google tag assistant extension click on this tag assistant legacy and add to chrome add extension so it has been added to chrome so i'm going to close this tab and close it also now open a new tab and go to your website go to your extensions and pin it to bar then click on your extension and make it done and enable this extension and refresh your website then you will see here some number that means it has found a google tag manager container id on our website and its last digit is 623 if you go to our google tag manager then you will also see our container id's last digit is 623 so our google tag manager is connected with our website properly now we will create google analytics 4 account for our website so let's open a new tab and search here analytics.google.com welcome to google analytics click on start measuring create an account here write your account name i'm going to name it according to my website then check these options and click on next write here your property name and select here your reporting time zone then select your currency 
then click next select here your industry category i'm going to select here auto and vehicles as my website is for bicycles and business size is a small and then go to next i'm going to check it all and then create select again your country here then check this option to accept data processing terms i'm going to check it and scroll down and check it also and then click i accept account and property has created choose a platform from here as i want it for my website i will choose here website enter here your website url and get a stream name i'm going to name it then create a stream yes our account is ready now what we have to do is to connect this j4 account with our website i'm going to connect between this j4 account and my website with google tag manager so i'm gonna close this tab so let's copy the measurement id then go to google tag manager and take a new tag either clicking add a new tag or going to tag section click on new then click on tag configuration big button you can select from here either the google tag or google analytics if we select here google analytics then we also get the google tag let's see click on google analytics this is the google tag select the google tag and paste here your measurement id then simply go to triggering and click on the triggering big button and select from here all pages give the tag a name i'm going to name it j4 web config then click on save our tag is ready now let's check if it's working properly so go to preview mode then enter here your website url and click on connect tag assistant connected let's go back to our tag assistant tab and click on continue here you go j4 web config tag is fired one times google tag manager says our tag is working so let's publish the google tag manager version click on submit and then give the version a name and then publish okay our container is published and it's working in the real cases now we should check also on our j4 account so let's go to google analytics 4 account and close this tab and let's go to home section here you go you can see here your data collection is active you may not get this activation immediately but don't worry it says it may take up to 24 hours to appear your data on g4 account so now we can say our g4 account is connected with our website properly now we have to set up various tags according to our business needs so that's it in this video in next videos we will see how to set up tags on our website through google tag manager update version for our google analytics 4 account so if you need any help or if you have any question don't hesitate to write down in the comment box i really appreciate your questions and suggestions and if you need any service then i'm a professional freelancer working on fiverr and also working on upwork you can place an order on this marketplaces otherwise you can contact me on this whatsapp number or on this gmail address so if you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel so see you in another video until then goodbye thank you so much